Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to The Geek Group. It is Sunday, January 29th at 1650 hours and we're here on our day off because yeah. we want to get the lab totally empty for safety because if anything goes wrong we don't want to put extra holes in people. And it's time. It's, we're there. Yes. Mark IV prototype initial operations testing. Okay, so well before we, before we do that, let's take people through what we got. Show them, show them how it works. Let's break it down. I'll open up this side and go over this. You go over this. All right. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, we start out with a microwave oven tran uh, charging circuit. It's a transformer with a voltage double behind it. Um, we have a set of contactors here. There's two of them, one for the ground side, one for the feed side. Um, so when we fire, we don't back feed through and blow up. And these are like, big, high voltage contacts. These are 15,000 volt contactors. The contacts up here, the coil for them is way down here, and these are insulators. So, and we're only doing this at 6 kilovolts. And we're only so, doing this at yeah. 6 kilovolts. This is actually overkill, and I'm planning on getting contactors from Ross Engineering, but okay. uh, they'd be a great sponsor, I think. They really would. We should call them. Yes. Anyhow, um, the output from the contactors goes two places. First off, they go to a knife switch over there, which is what safes our system. That's the crowbar. Yes. Uh, the output side goes, uh, the positive side goes through this resistor uh, array up here, 225, okay. uh, 2.5K resistors in series. The output of that comes down to our positive rail. Uh, the other contactor goes uh, to the one end of the knife switch and then down to our negative rail on the outside. Okay. Over here, right there. So this is the negative rail down here. Negative rail. Positive, positive rail, rail comes up here and yes. then goes through our big ka-chunk switch of science. Yes, I'm going to turn this a little bit like that okay. for our first run. So this is the actual yes, actuator. Yes, it's in the charging position right now. And then it comes um, down into the coil. Correct. Okay. Now out here, um, and we'll, we'll, this is where we use B-roll. We have our containment vessel, which everybody's been a part of this. This, this has been an epic bit. There's, there's as much engineering here as there is over there. This just isn't as pretty. Um, this started life as a pressure cooker, a, a commercial pressure cooker. We gutted all the stuff out of the inside. We filled it with 11 bags of concrete that was heavily reinforced with, what was that, about two Chop, inch? Chopped fiberglass. Chopped fiberglass. Yep. Okay, which you donated. Yep. And we mixed that all together, filled all this, vibrated down, all that jazz. We had to build a custom frame under it to hold it. Thank you, Mikey. Metal Mikey did that. And now the thing weighs a ton. There's bushings, special high voltage bushings. There's actually three concentric pieces of Schedule 40 PVC pipe that go through here to insulate it out. And it'll easily handle six kilovolts. It'll probably handle 20 without any problems. Probably. Um, and then down buried inside 10 gallons of sand is uh, our, the, the quarter, the sample and all that. Mm -hmm. And we can show all that. That's, that's why we have B-roll. Yes. Because right now it's completely full of sand. So that's all in place, and we've got our string to pull the plug. So it's down in there right now. So with that, I'm going to close and latch blast containment, and we're ready to go. We're ready to go. The switch at your pleasure, sir. We are plugged into power. At this point, everybody is going to get very far out of the room. The actual control panel is all the way out in the stairwell, and we're going to go push some buttons. So we'll leave cameras in here at a safe distance away, and we'll see if this blows up or anything. But it should be fine. Should be fine. Science says it's fine. The yep. charging circuit and all that has already been played with. Yep, and we've on tested that side, but same, this, this is new. It's the same charging circuit that we used before. But before, the last time we fired this, we, we were, were doing it with aluminum rails, aluminum and they were really inefficiently designed. This and is huge. We were using a string. Copper. Yeah, to this, pull. this is all for serious. This is the Mark IV prototype, so yes. it's a whole thing. All right, let's go blow something up. an interesting moment of truth thing. It's like, all right, what's left? All right, our, the, wires, wire. the wires are gone, so it's not there anymore. I see some okay. shrapnel. It's all the way bucket. down to the bottom, of the worst, after all that flow. Let me slide it in because my fingers are right there. Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody who's not holding a camera, go to the other side. <laughs> I just got 
You shot it. What's left? Where is it? <laughs> now what would be really bad is if the quarter went edge into the little grate. <laughs> what we need there is like a quarter inch screen. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it. But we've got a dinosaur and a sample. Should be two dinosaurs. Yep, there we go. There's the quarter. There it is. Get me a quarter to compare with. Dish. It is dished. It didn't hit too good. No, it didn't shrink that much. Well, yeah, you give me a handful of shrunken well, that's, everything. We were only half power. Okay, we were only half power. Yeah. And we shrunk a little bit. All right. Let me compare that to our previous shrink. It's not as good as our previous shrink, so. All right. Let's do it again. Put the doubler in. No, that's the dowel. If the dowels are reusable, let's keep reusing them. Another oh, dowel. Still oh, arc blast, we'll just put that to the outside. I think I see it you know, off to the, yeah. on this side. That's right empty here. insulation, Chris. Hold on, I got it. Whoa! That's tiny. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> That's success. That's... Get another quarter for comparison. Here, hang on. That's a good bang. That's... Okay. We did it. We've it. done it. It's it's a quarter that's the size of a dime. That's exactly where we were headed. Look at that. Look at that. That's, it, what, it, is the, that? it is the that same. Well. That, that is the well. same size as a dime, folks. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, guys. Time is 1856 hours, and we have something to show. This is a regular quarter. Now, this was the first test. This was the second test. The first test was at 3,000 volts. The second test was at 6,000 volts. Now that gives us uh, a full shrinkage. Now we'll compare that to a dime. There, there you go. There's your comparison. That's a dime. That's one of our shrunken quarters. We did it. And now these are going to be available very soon for sale on our website. Um, we're doing this to raise money for the Geek Group. We're going to be selling these for $25 a piece, a 25 cent quarter for $25, and that's, that's a success. So let's that's show them the process. Let's take them through a the whole thing. The first thing we do is uh, we take... We have a charge. Okay, this is, this is a sample. Uh, yeah. that's, that's a bigger... Here, let's use you the same... 12 gauge. Okay. okay, that's um, 12 gauge Romex. Yep, 12 gauge wire. And there, there's a quarter inside. To, does anybody have a, just a set of dowels that haven't been wound yet? Yeah. All right, cool. We take two wooden dowels, and there's a quarter inside. Mm -hmm. We tape it together. And then it goes inside the coil. And then it goes down in here. And you can see there's one loaded in there. And then we load in the sand around it. Now, the containment here is it's all the concrete, the fiberglass, all that jazz. And there's the blast plate on the bottom. That's our yep. safety relief. Right. So at this point, we can do one right now for the people. We can blast one out. So let's dump sure. the sand in, if you would, please, sir. Thank you. This is Gabriel, the Sandman. <laughs> now, in theory, we could do this without the sand, but the sand adds a dramatic enhancement in safety. Yeah. We're not going to pockmark the inside, the inside yeah. of our yeah. containment vessel. Now, you know, we'll die of silicosis, but all right, now we're fine. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Now, hang on. We've got, yeah, the, quick, we've, got, we've got the dinosaurs. Guys. These are the dinosaurs of science. We put these in here for safety. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is the wire. Or what's left. Here, you, you tell me about that. I'll close it. Okay. The... Uh, the last one we ran, this is what's left, and it's just the insulation. The copper is all gone. It all fragmented into shrapnel and blasted. You can see there's a split all the way down this where it... Uh, yeah, here's some of the copper. Drop. 
That's what I found. There's like little. That's all we found. That's all we found. <laughs> little bits of shrapnel. We have not, a lot of people are going to comment and ask about fulgurite. We have not made fulgurite yet. If it happens, we will update you guys and let you know. When you We're going to need to sift the sand yeah, because we'll it's going to be little it tiny little bit. bits of all it. Right, if at all right, let's do it. Charge her up. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to be doing that anymore. Can't have nice things. 6,000. Kick it. Fire. There you go. What you got? 660. 700. Climbing. All right, so that's been the day. Um, the Mark IV prototype of Stomper is now an absolute success. We want to thank all the sponsors who made this possible. Um, we want to thank Henny Penny. We want to thank Lawrence Livermore National Labs. We want to thank... Um, the Copper Guy. The Copper Guy. We want to thank uh, Padnos. We've got to invite him on. Yes, yes. We, I've got his card. We're gonna, yes. we're, I'm going to bring him a quarter. I promised him one for his kid. Yes. So he gets to come down and see it fire probably tomorrow or the day after or something. But we want to thank Padnos. We want to thank, um, who else has stuff in there? I'm looking okay, at gear. The, the, the like. contactors. Um, the contactors came from a TV station. Um, Channel 28 out of South Bend. Thank you guys for a lot of the parts that are in here. Um, it's like, I think that covers it. Uh, Iskar Rick helped machine yeah. a lot of this. Iskar Rick made a lot, and he donated the original cabinet yeah, back good. in 92. Well, no, I, uh, bought, it, <laughs> I bought it off of him. And we want to thank... Kuka for providing the extruded aluminum here. We want to thank 8020. We want to thank everybody. Just there's so many people involved in this. Thank you to everybody who was involved. The the whole crew. There's a ton of people that have I mean, we've been here till midnight several nights on this. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's stopper. It works. It shrinks quarters. If you want a shrunken quarter, go to thegeekgroup.org. They will be available in our store on the website very soon. And all proceeds go to help fund the geek group to help build our facility and, and do the building and all that jazz. If you're not a member yet, you should be. Go to thegeekgroup.org. Membership is free to anybody in the world with a sincere and passionate desire to learn. So thank you, Paul, for rocking out. And all you guys, thank you. We love you all. And until then, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.